into week eight, the final week of my picnic on the beach blanket crochet along. So this week it's all about the border, the edging to our blankets um, and I've kept it quite simple. I think with so many textures and different stitches in the rest of the blanket, I think for me I wanted to keep the border quite simple um, but we still have some texture. We have the fabulous pineapple cluster stitches which give some texture. Um, we also have the the moss stitch which in doing it in the, the same colours we used for gingham we've created a little bit of a nod to the gingham squares in the centre of the blanket, our quintessential picnic tablecloth. And then we have these stitches where they're based on half treble, US half double crochet stitches and we're just crocheting into the very back loop only. So leaving the two strands to the front of the work, creating these long chain effects. So it's a simple but effective, lovely end to our picnic blankets. And all the colours, except the colours we used for our basket weave, are used in the rounds this week. There's 13 rounds in total, so it's going to take you quite a while to finish it because you've got to go all the way around the blanket 13 times. Um, but enjoy it, no pressure, no rush. Um, and although it's the final week to our blanket crochet along, um, I hope this blanket will be made for a very, very long time to come. And if you're still on week one or week two, or if you haven't even started yet, or if you're watching this video um, a long way down the line and you're just starting out or finishing your blanket so many weeks after everyone else, it's brilliant. Everything will stay on the blog, um, the pattern will stay available, the video tutorials are all there. So I hope this blanket will be made for a very long time to come. And this week, as promised, the finale to our picnics. Um, I took my family to a special place a little bit further along the coast. Um, fabulous picnic spot, the Seven Sisters um, Chalk Cliffs and Cookmer Haven Beach. Um, went there on Sunday, Sunday morning early. And yeah, I'll share our little picnic morning with you. Here it is. So we've just parked up and I've got my blankets ready to take down and Salty, are you ready? Ready to go down to Cookmere Haven. This is our camper van which we've enjoyed many years of camping in. Um, didn't use it last year due to Covid, it was the first time we didn't sleep in it. Maybe this year we'll be able to uh, go camping. You ready? <laughs> So we're walking down towards the beach. As we walk down to the beach, we're surrounded by some English countryside. And so you can see the Seven Sisters chalk cliffs come into view there. We've come early morning to avoid crowds. Um, this can be quite a busy, busy tourist spot and as we've emerged out of lockdown recently people are travelling a little further afield. So the sun is not shining on the cliffs which is a shame because when the sun is shining on those white cliffs they really do look spectacular but uh, I'll be able to show you more as we get closer. Just see the Coast Guard cottages come into view there. They've been used in so much filming, all kinds of films and programs and documentaries. And so we've got a little detour to take now. There's been some cliff erosion here too. And here I am coming onto the beach. This is Cookmere Haven Beach. And I'm going to set up our picnic 
here somewhere. And if we stay long enough, then maybe the cliffs will come out of shade and uh, you'll see the sunlight on them. So here's the beach and then looking back, we can see the Coast Guard cottages and there's some old sea defence there, coastal defence. If nothing is done, those cottages are going to end up in the sea very soon. Um, but recently, back in February on the news, we heard that the funding has been approved to save them. And it's going to cost a lot of money to redo these sea defences to keep the cottages safe, but um, it's been approved. So we're going to set up our picnic here. And our picnic is set up. Brought a few snacks down and brought my finished blankets down. There's some peanut butter cookies there I made yesterday. <laughs> Such a colourful scene. And so there you can see those Coast Guard cottages. You don't normally see them from this view. You normally see them with the Seven Sisters cliffs behind them and the sun's just been shining on those cliffs there so you can see the different colour that uh, the sun makes and of course we had to bring our kite a few minutes and I can see that the tide is coming up really quickly so we're going to have to move our little picnic spot because it's not going to be long before uh, that water's up to our picnic. Salty. Uh -uh. Oh you didn't take any of my cookies did you? Leave it. Oh it's so tempting for her. <laughs> if I wasn't looking she'd have, uh, she'd have tucked in already. And here you can see where the river comes out into the sea. This is the River Cookmere and hence this beach is called Cookmere Haven. And there you can see the rest of the family having having the picnic. I couldn't uh, keep the food from them for too much longer. <laughs> and my blankets have actually come in very, very useful because it's really chilly here today. Cold wind you can probably hear. And my blankets are being used. Yay! <laughs> Here's my daughter with the blanket round her. Are you glad you've got it round you, Bronwyn? <laughs> There's loads of shells on this stretch of beach. Loads that I can see. And now finally, we've waited long enough and so now you can really see the chalk cliffs in the sunshine, which makes them look really, really white. It's a beautiful spot.
that was a special picnic on the beach to share with you all. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's a really fabulous beauty spot, not far from where I live. Um, really lucky to be able to visit. And the timing of our picnic crochet along and the timing of um, it finishing is brilliant because I'm hoping that I feel, I get a sense that we're emerging out of lockdowns around the world and we are able to go on picnics with family, with friends, um, with our four-legged friends and you can bring your blankets along to wrap around you and keep warm. Um, some of you have thought about backing them and maybe using them to sit on. It's entirely up to you how you use your blankets. Um, it's been a wonderful picnic journey. Um, I've loved creating these stitches inspired by all things picnic and trying to capture some of that wonderful um, picnic happiness in a blanket. It's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much to everyone who has crocheted along, everyone who's followed along. Thank you to everyone who's communicated with each other in the Facebook group and over on Instagram. There's been so much lovely interaction between so many of you. Um, thank you to everyone who's shared an amazing photo. We've had photos from all over the world in amazing locations, both indoors and outdoors. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And also to those people who, who watch along and crochet along, but don't take part in the, the social media side of things, who don't leave comments, that's perfectly okay too. So it's been really wonderful. What an amazing crochet along experience. And I'm truly grateful to have been able to share it with so many of you. I'm gonna have a little bit of a break. Um, it's been a really, really busy, busy year for me and my crochet. Um, I've got a few exciting projects to share with you in the coming months, um, stuff that I've already done behind the scenes. As a crochet designer, I'm often working on stuff at the time that I can't share until a little bit later down the line. Um, first up, we have our picnic by the river, our blanket crochet along starting in two weeks, and that's with a little box of crochet. I'm very excited about that. And there's another crochet along coming up soon too um, with another company that I'm, again, really excited and looking forward to sharing with you. But all those are done. So I've designed them and it's now over to the other companies to run the crochet alongs. So that'll be coming out over the coming weeks. Um, so yes, my hooks have been busy and you'll see the fruition of that over the coming weeks and months. But as for me right now, I am going to take a break, uh, just get back to some simple crochet and we'll see what inspiration strikes um, going forward and what themes and um, ideas I can come up with for our next crochet along, which won't be for a little while. So there you go. Thank you so much again for crocheting along, for following along. And I also want to say thank you to my family who, um, yeah, they put up with all my crochet and all my yarn. Um, and they're so supportive and amazing. So thank you to them. We've got my eldest son, my 18 year old Morgan, who produced the amazing music that I've been able to share throughout these videos. Um, we've got my 16 year old Rowan, who has been behind the camera some of the time, um, helping to film and bring a little bit of a artistic flair to some of the videos. Um, Bronwyn, my daughter, she's 15, who has also taken photos and um, been been there behind the scenes too and my husband Steve who um, flew the kite and is always so supportive when um, the crochet takes over he is there so uh, thank you to my family and thank you to Salty she's just walked off um, my little companion who is always there by my side when I'm down on the beach and um, and features in, in so many of my Instagram and Facebook posts and in some of the videos. So thank you to my family and thank you to all of you for following along. Um, it's been wonderful. Take care everyone.